Hey guys, welcome to my channel. As you guys know what we're doing by the title of this video, um, yeah, we're going to be reviewing the new Urban Decay palette. As you guys can tell, I went ahead and already did my face makeup, everything, the brows. We went ahead and did that. I'm going to put in my bio, not bio, my description on what I used if you guys have any questions towards it. So, let's go ahead and get into this video. We are going to be testing out this incredible palette. Jeez, it's so beautiful. This is the Naked Urban Decay Cyber Palette. I already opened it up, so pretty. Okay, guys, so I'm just gonna show you guys a little bit more of the beautiful packaging. It's freaking stunning. We have the inside of the palette as well. The shades are beautiful. They're very soft. They're very, I would say, neutral, very um, light eyeshadows. It also comes with a nice brush that has the fluffier side on this end and then the more, still fluffy, but smaller side here on the other end. I love their brushes. So I'm not normally someone who does a lot of swatches. Three makeup looks today. Did a Halloween look and then I did a regular like, you know, not regular. It was very dark and smoky look. And then now I'm doing this and then later I'm going to stream. Here's my stream name right here. You can check me out, play some video games. Listen guys, I'm tired. And you know what I'm gonna do after this? I'm gonna eat and take me a long ass nap. Do I know what I'm gonna be doing today? Nope, nope, I sure don't. So we're gonna start out, let's go basic. We're gonna go into the shade AI, AI? Ooh, AI, okay, I like that name. We're gonna use that shade, I'm gonna show you guys, it's the first light shade here. And I start blending this. Ooh, I like this brush. It's not like super soft and crazy. It's got that perfect like, man, it's got like a nice pack to it. Like this is a good old brush to pack some shades in. I to say it, but I do have the eyeshadow primer potion on here from Urban Decay. Um, this is amazing, guys. It will make your eyeshadow stick so good. I figured it out. Figured out what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be taking the shade Gadget right here, and actually I'm loving the names. We have AI, Metadata, Virtual, Electrode, Cyberspace, Gadget, Call IT, Not a Bot, Static, Y3K, Override, and Byte. Oh, I love those names. Okay. All right, enough talking too much. We're gonna go into Gadget. This is a light, a very light pink shade. And we're gonna put that into the crease. I'm gonna go a little bit high up with it. Not super dramatic high, but a little bit to give the eyeshadow a little something something and so that you can see it. I'm gonna try to use as many shades as I can. This makeup's gotta look bomb.com because I'm gonna be streaming tonight and I'm too tired to do another makeup look today. And guess what? I have high faith that it will. I do not think this palette will let me down. Guys, nice, that's a nice brush. I'm gonna use it to pack the shade on a little bit more instead of blending, packing it. One thing I can say so far is that I do wish that there was a brown in here, but either way, the palettes are beautiful. I, man, I hope, mm, this guys, this color right here, Bite, is freaking drawing my eye out like crazy. I need to use this color. It is so pretty. We got some nice pigment going on too, it looks like. Putting this, oh, I already, I can already tell it's great. Okay. Or start blending it softly. We're rounding things out today, guys, as we normally do. This shade, guys, oh my god. I'm gonna use this shade like every freaking day now. Now I'm gonna try to be slower. I'm getting slower. Um, also using a doll 10 uh, transition transformer brush. I'm gonna go a little bit slower and I want to pack in the shade. Definitely some more. I love it, I love it. 
I love that it has like actual pigment to it too. That's what we're doing. I'm gonna use their brush and go to the smaller side of it and just pack it on. We're packing and packing it. So what you gotta do when you have a color is pretty, you can't stop using it. So I'm packing it on thick. All right, we packed on pretty nicely. So I'm gonna take that brush, the bigger side, and I'm gonna use this shade right here. It is the lighter peachy shade right here. It is the name Virtual. I'm taking it lightly and I use it to blend out around the eyeshadow. Now on the top, in the crease, we want it to be nice and blended at the top. And this is actually blending out really nicely. Oh, it's got a great ombre effect to it. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Look at that blending. The lighting in here is changing so much. I have my window open, that's how I get a lot of my lighting. And it's starting to get dark outside. It is 6.36. And all of a sudden when the sun started dropping, I could just tell the shade of my viewfinder that I see right here. Looking different and it's making a mess. Alright guys, the shades in here are so pretty. I'm going to be using the shade Static next. All of the shades are so pretty and I want to use all the shimmer shades right now, but I can only stick to one with the makeup look I'm trying to vibe for. So, we're going to be using the shade Static, guys. This shade right here, it's the blue shade. Man, it looks so pretty. It's definitely got like a chrome look to it. I don't know how pigmented it's going to be, but I'm going to pick up a bunch of it because we're going to make it very pigmented too. I'm picking it up mm -hmm. and I'm going to be spraying it. And you know what? I'll spray it with any. I'm going to spray it with my Urban Decay Setting All Nighter Ultra Matte Long Lasting Setting Spray. Sp spraying it and then I'm going to be picking it up again just a little bit lightly. And we're just going to start putting this shade, oh, oh my god, this shade right here guys, dude, this shade is foiled, like it is a foiled eye shadow, I love it, I love it, taking that on my finger, Ooh, that shade makes me so happy, man. This shade right here would like be beautiful all over the lid by itself. No like other shades on it, just itself all over the lid. You know that song that says, if you ain't talking money, take your broke ass home? Well, I'm gonna say, if you ain't talking this shade, this palette, take your ass home, all right? that makes sense? Made sense to me. Okay, I'm taking a little bit of that um, shade Bite. The like orangey shade. I'm taking that on the end just to blend everything out over here. Just a little bit though. Nice. Nice. Taking the other side now, I'm going into that Bite shade. And I'm going to blend this under my eye. That's such a beautiful shade, man. I'm now going to take the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil. This is waterproof and long-lasting. I can agree. This is very much long-lasting. This is in the shade Psychedelic Sister. I like that name. So it's actually kind of a... Oh, no. I broke it a little bit. Fuck. So it's actually a little bit of a shimmer, sh like, shimmery one. So it's purpley, shimmery, it's dark. Putting this in my waterline. All right, I put that in my waterline, but I also put it a little bit down more so that I can blend it out. Not blend it out, but blend it a little bit lower. So that's what I'm doing. I don't know if this will show up too well underneath what I just did, but I want to use a lot of things. So I'm gonna use Cyberspace, which is, where is it at? This shade right here. So that shade 
It's got, if you guys can even see it, it has a very uh, chrome look to it. So I'm gonna pick that up on this like paintbrush style paint brush. Oh yeah, you can see it. Not like a lot, but just a little bit right there. Mmm, that shade per that shade pairs perfectly with the purple in her eye. Mm-hmm. Though I did already set my face, I like to set it again, so I'm gonna use the of course the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Matte setting spray. So why did that have to happen? I just ruined my eyeliner like drastically. What is that? What is that? Man. What is that? When you guys mess up eyeliner, how do you guys like put concealer on it and fix it? I don't understand. It always leaves like a big old line there for me and it just, it doesn't blend out, man. Now it's like freaking to my temple. <laughs> ah. I hate this eyeliner, I hate it so much, but this eyeshadow is so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna stop crying. So next, I'm gonna be going into the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara, guys. I have been through. So this mascara is actually probably, I wanna say this is the first like mascara ever used in my life starting makeup. And I have probably been through like six of these, maybe more, honestly. No, probably more, because I used to only use this. So, we're going to put it on. Okay, again, I love the eyeshadow, the eyeliner not so much. I'm not going to stop talking about this dang lipstick. All the shades, because I have a bunch of them. I don't know if I have all the shades, but I feel like I do. I feel like I have all the shades. Anyways, these right here are the Urban Decay Vice lipsticks. Guys, beautiful shade here, but this is the shade Back Talk. Now let me let me describe these lipstick. I love lipstick, I really do, but I don't use lipstick like this. I normally only use liquid lipsticks or like glosses mostly. Reason being is because they never stay on. They always like disappear like after like I don't know like 30 minutes to me honestly. But these, these right here do not do that. They stay on. They stay on, I promise you, all day, or at least half the day when you're eating and drinking. It's, okay, you put it on, it's like a regular lipstick, regular lipstick, of course. And then, throughout the day, it just starts getting matte. Matte, and I would say it's like a liquid lipstick, but you don't feel that it's there, kind of like a tint, you know, like a liquid lipstick tint. It stays on there. I love it and I eat a lot so like you know if you're someone who eats a lot <laughs> it stays on okay we're using this this is a shade back talk and I love the shade back talk oh and another thing I did not say but this like makes your lips smooth like a lot of times when I put lipsticks on even liquid lipsticks it just starts getting We'll say like a little bit crust, crusty, that sounds weird, but it does. It starts getting not smooth and this right here makes your lips smooth. All right guys, that is everything for this makeup tutorial slash review of this Urban Decay Cosmetics Naked Cyber Palette. I don't need to say much besides that it's perfect. I love it. This is definitely something you can use every day. I mean, you can use any eyeshadow every day, but you can definitely use this one every day. And I just love it. Just go get it. I don't know. Let me look. Let me see if it's released yet. Hold on. Let me look. Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And also, subscribe. Or not subscribe. And also, follow my Twitch stream because I am now a Twitch streamer. So go ahead and follow me. And I will see you guys in my next video.